Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. Let's take a look at the gold market again. So on the daily chart, and price action very quiet and we don't see some activity here. Despite the recent European Central Bank meeting, as I said in today's video, on your currency it was useless mostly for market society. And it seems that becoming tendency that the European Central Bank meeting becomes mostly useless in the recent few months or even uh, almost a half of the year probably. So no significant decisions are made and uh, Central Bank can't even clarify uh, how long the PEPP program will stand on the market and uh, whether they, uh, with this recent tapering, whether they uh, put the new tendency on the closing of this program, all this is just a single measure. So as a result, no activity, no uh, reaction, even on the stock market, on the European stock market. So on the gold market in general, overall background stand positive and picture that we have here, especially on the intraday charts, looks well, more interesting compares to the euro. On the euro currency, although we have the brand and butter buy setup on the daily, but unfortunately, that's uh, worry me a bit that uh, we do not have any clear bullish reversal patterns right in the point where brand and butter could start and actually starting already. On the gold market, we have a bit different situation. So although on the daily chart, mostly everything stands the same, here I still prefer to get the reverse hand and shoulders was a bit deeper retracement here. And now it's a question whether this upward action is something new that should lead market back above the top or it is minor pullback here before the hour continuation. Today also guys will be a bit later the uh, producer price index report in the United States and be aware of these uh, statistics because as you know the um, inflation statistics right now stands in focus. And recent uh, payroll's report shows that inflation is rising as the uh, our earnings have increased. It means that the PPI data also might be stronger than expected. So just be aware of this stuff. Um, currently, overall background looks positive because if we'll take a look at the interest rates, United States, uh, you could see that they are keep dropping and uh, it uh, shows the same type of action that makes me think that we're ready for a downward breakout here and some drop in interest rates would definitely will be supportive for, for, for a gold market. It's because when the market is forming the flag pattern in any consolidation like the triangle or something of that sort, this is classical sign of weakness guys when the market can't reach the opposite border of the consolidation. Very often you could see it in the triangles but sometimes in flags especially when it uh, extended like here it also could be visible and you can see for a second top in a row market can't reach the opposite border and can't pass for the middle of this range so returning back to the bottom this is signs of weakness and uh, it's, it tells you that unsuggest downside breakout which is gold supportive should be so uh, that's why i said that it is a question still whether we will get straightforward our prediction in the case of the interest rates will drop or we should get a bit deeper retracement. For purity of the picture, of course, I prefer to get this lows, but upper breakout is also okay. So um, currently, actually, any scenario will be not bad to us because if you have taken the long positions recently in these lows, and uh, as we said, here might be some upper bounce up from here, once this target could be completed of the free drive passion, so almost has been done. Currently, you just could protect your position with the break even stuff. Also, take a look at the bullish divergence here is growing, which suggests the taking out of this top stands in the same direction as well as suggestion on the interest rates. So it seems that maybe indeed the 
PPI numbers today will be worse than expected. So maybe this is some kind of prediction, I do not know. Uh, anyway, if you have the long position currently, you could just protect your position with a break even stop and see what will happen. So upward breakout is great if uh, market suddenly will turn down and break it in opposite direction, getting with this ABCD patient that I initially talked about. It also will be nice because in this case we turn to the daily patient. Finally, on the gold market situation is a bit better with the intraday patterns. So if on the euro currency we have nothing, here we have nicely looking head and shoulders pattern and has been formed recently on the bottom. And that uh, lets you to step in actually. Probably you, you have done already this. Um, this few targets we have. This ABCD pattern is around OP it's 18 or 6. That agrees with the first resistance, as you can see. And starting of the, this channel, or this consolidation, it will prevent market to proceed higher. Next target is XOP, is 18.15 area. That agrees with the next level and major fib resistance, 18.18 level. So that's next resistance. I would suggest that if maybe PPI will be bad, in this case, market could break this uh, resistance and reach this level. Um, then we will see what will happen, but it will go further or it will be the point where potentially the next step will be, as I said, that we can't exclude. So maybe it will be some kind of the larger ABC repetition to the downside that could lead market right to the 1766, which is, as you could see, actually the previous bottom that we have. This is actually two scenarios and uh, result mostly depends on the, what PPI numbers we will get today. So, but currently, if you have may take the position based on this pattern or just buying around this level, move stops to the break even and see what will happen. Wait for the PPI. And then make the decision uh, would you like to just close the position, tight stop, or manage somehow this because the major riddle currently what will happen here. So, whether the market will be able to break it up and continue up direction or it still will be deep retracement. So, and that's what we have currently on the gold market. Let's keep watching for a statistics release today and see what will happen.